Hi. Hello. Welcome in. I hope your ooh, Wednesday is going good. Yeah. So, well, for once in like a month, we're not playing Elden Ring today at all. What? Dad Beard, welcome in. Yes, Spiritfarer. I am very excited. I'm very excited to start this game. Um, I've, you know, it's been on my list to play for a long time, and I'm finally doing it. Dad Beard, I hope your day's going good. Um, I'm trying to think if there are any announcements. I guess so. Um, YouTube. That's not it. <laughs> uh, you've seen gameplay of this, but you know nothing of the game. Yeah, pretty much same. I've seen some like little clips here and there. I've seen like passing like info about it, but really, I like all I know really is what Steam says about it, which is that it's <laughs> stream elements. <laughs> we did not need that twice. Actually, can I? way to no anyway um you watch full oh full gameplay of the game but you still don't understand any of the strategy or gameplay oh i see what you mean i get it now yeah see i have only seen like bits and pieces here and there so i will be coming in pretty new um i know kind of what it's about i know that um is about death and you play as someone who is spiriting spirits, bearing spirits, burying spirits to the afterlife. I believe it's is kind of the the overall theme of the game. Um, so we don't have a content warning going. I know, like overall, like there's no like violence or like it's not gross or 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 intense in that way, like violence or or whatever, but. It it it, from my understanding, it does talk a lot about death, um, and kind of philosophy of it. I think, but I'm I'm very excited to play this game. Uh, it's also very cute, and adorable and cute. <laughs> um, but yeah, um, I totally forgot. I was in the middle of an announcement, and I just oh, come on, brain. Why is Stream Elements doing everything double? Hello, Stream Elements? Hello? What's going on? I get... <sighs> Hold on, we gotta figure it. Stream Elements. Bonsoir! Healing Hearer, thank you for the follow. Welcome in. Um, sorry that I am having to troubleshoot yet again because Stream Elements is being silly. Maybe, maybe it's fine and we'll ignore it. <laughs> if you see Stream Elements uh, double posting, no, you didn't. <laughs> or go ahead and shake a, a a a fist at them. But yeah. <laughs> anyway, um. I guess that's it. YouTube is caught up with Elden Ring. So if you missed any Elden Ring, it is on YouTube. Um, yeah. Well, I'm going to open the game. I'm very excited to play a game that seems pretty... It's not simple. It's, well, it's kind of straightforward. Elden Ring has a lot of buttons you got to press. This one, I went in and I've already remapped my keyboard. Not a lot of buttons you have to press. Maybe that's that's the crux of it. I'm just I'm excited to play a game where you don't have to press all the buttons at once. Okay. Um, I gotta add the audio. Can I hear it? Yes, there it is. Let me know how audio is. And let's just uh, jump into it. I don't know, there's, it's very cool how there's co-op in this game too. I like I don't even know how that would work because I don't really know this game yet. But 
Ich auch. Finally. I thought for a second you would never wake up, little one. Is this gonna be like sad right off the bat? How ironic that would have been, would it not? I'm Chiron. The spirit fairy. Well, that is what I have been until your arrival. I cannot say that I'm sad to leave, but I still had a few things left to do here. I'm afraid you will have to pick up things where I left them. It is, after all, my very last day. And you are? Uh, Chiron, the same from Greek mythology? Yes, I believe so. Also, one of Pluto's moon. <laughs> Stella. Welcome, Stella. I see you have brought a friend here with you. What's his name? Hi, Rigel. <laughs> I don't think he's talking about this about this friend. The ferryman of the river sticks. Yes, yes. Daffodil. Perfect name for a perfect cat. I see. You two will share the burden then and take it over from me. As I said, in a few minutes, I will be gone from this world. And that is why you are here. You will be the new spirit bearer. Listen, your task here will be far from easy, but simple nonetheless. Go fetch the stray spirits stranded on the islands, and when they are ready, bring them back here. Alright. Dying souls can't pass away on their own. You will have to help them, f help them fulfill their last request and be at their service until their last breath. I This is going to make me feel feels. This is going to be emotional. The big round bridge over there is the Everdor. The Alpha, where everything starts, the Omega, where everything ends. This is where all the quests get completed and where existence meets its threshold. There is no task more important than this one. Never forget this, Stella. Here, there is something I need to give you. Now, be very care really careful with it. It is the Everlight. The symbol of your status here and the only tool you will ever need. Wait, what are you... Oh, how highly inappropriate. <laughs> I love Daffodil. Well, that settles it. The Everlight will help you throughout your travels. It will be the light that shines in the darkness, the last remaining hope of the de Hope is a flame, the light that never falters, the beacon of eternity. It is heavy and inconvenient, but there is no greater duty than this one. The fate of lost souls rests on your shoulders. Look, I was overwhelmed too at first. Just try to keep your focus. Take it one step at a time. You will soon get used to this place, accustomed to these moments. You are the new spirit bearers, after all. Oh, one last thing. Once I am gone, you will have to find a ship of your own. Mine is not suited for you, and it will fade away once I am gone. You might find one not too far from here if you keep rowing in the right direction for some time. Probably. It's time. Here I go. So long, Stella, and good luck. You will need it.
You got a belt, fashion bearer. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Fashion bearer. Oh, look, our it became a little battle. All right. Oh. Yep. I this is so pretty. Press spacebar to jump, hold spacebar to jump higher. Hold P while jumping to climb through platform. I see. Hold it. Hold. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> the problem with binding semicolon to one of the things is that it reads as like hold and space to drop down press o to interact with the going mm -hmm. stella oh. it really is you stand up straight and let me get a good look at you. Mm -hmm. you look so good and Daffodil, Daffodil is here too, I see. Mm -hmm. We'll have to find a lint roller then. And it might not be that obvious after all. Mm -hmm. It's me. One. Good thing you found me. Mm -hmm. But if you're here, it means... Oh. You are the new spirit bear. Mm -hmm. You are the one placing Chiron. I was trying to get rid of him and only ended up here by accident. Why would you try to get rid of him? I've been stuck on this disgusting island for about a week, living off of sardines and cigarettes. Mm -hmm. Funny how I used to be the one getting you out of trouble before. I can see you have an Everlight now, mm -hmm. of course. See that boat over there? Is that gonna be our new boat? Mm -hmm. That's the one. Mm -hmm. It's obviously slightly shabby, but let's commandeer. I'd wager it'll work, uh, since you're the spirit bearer. Okay, meet me on the deck mm -hmm. over there. I'll explain it all. Daffodil is the cutest. Oh. Good thing there's no fall damage, I guess. I have to get used to using keyboard again, because I use controller for... Uh, Wait, can I ring the bell? Oh, that was fun. Mm -hmm. Okay, here it goes. Hope oh, my fur coat won't be too damaged. This game is so pretty. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. I don't remember what. I'm not one to jump for joy, but this feels good. Much better than anticipated. Mm -hmm. So, the way I see it, this boat is yours now. Don't you think? Mm -hmm. Good. And as you're, you're the spirit fairer, welcoming stray spirits is your new job. And once aboard, they'll, they will assume their true form. Mm -hmm. Well, that's my theory anyway. Why are you looking at me like that? Mm -hmm. You need to come here and give me a hug. New request personal connection. <gasps> hug! Mm -hmm. You can hug the characters! Mm -hmm. Bonsoir! Much better. Hired grandson, thank you for the follow. Welcome in. Mm -hmm. Come with me now. Let's take a look at this chaos. This is amazing. This is this is mm -hmm. so good. Oh no. Mm -hmm. What a mess. Reminds me of Aunt Petunia's old yard. A beautiful, unorganized testament to someone's laziness. Mm -hmm. Or a vital impossibility to get rid of anything. 
This is this is game calling me out. <laughs> At any rate, we should do something about this, or my dust allergies will be back. Let me think. Mm. There's only one way to clean this up. You have to meet Albert. Mm -hmm. He's your local shipwright. And his jokes are garbage. Wait, was that a joke about the garbage? But he's the only one who can fix your bow. Mm -hmm. We should head to Albert's ship. You must be wondering how to make this ship move. Mm -hmm. It's really easy, actually. There, let me give you this key I found on the island. It will unlock that cabin in the mm -hmm. back. You should find a map projector in there. How do I know all this? Well, I was planning an escape, remember? Mm -hmm. And you know me. I plan things meticulously. Very. Mm -hmm. Meticulously. Go open up that cabin, Stella. Mm -hmm. The map projector should be simple enough to use, and you just have to go to Albert's shipyard. Hmm. I'm not sure where I'm supposed to go. <laughs> Ooh. Set sail, Captain. Start your boat and fill us down. Cabin. Uh, I need to hide the mouse because I just I want to click on things. It's not what I need to do. Oh. I love games like this where like every aspect of it is just so beautiful. I guess we gotta go. my room. I can't do anything here. Yet. As I understand, the ship is powered by your Everlight. That's how it cruises the ocean and reveals the stray spirit. It also explains why I couldn't do anything by myself. You like the 2D aspect of the game where steering isn't necessary and you just select where to go and it goes? Yes! I Could you imagine if you had to, like, steer <laughs> that would instantly not be fun but yeah i like it they're just like you just get to go also explains why i could do anything myself mm -hmm. you must admit it's quite fascinating look i know you must feel overwhelmed mm -hmm. caron the everdor the spirit farers this place this boat me being here it's a lot you must be wondering what is going on. Mm. If you told, I don't really know either, but I'm here for you. I'll do my best to help you and try to make sense of it all. Mm. As I said earlier, I wanted to leave by myself, but somehow I just couldn't. Now that I see you, I think I know why. I'll give you some space for now. Don't hesitate to explore the ship. Mm. If it was 3D and there was steering, awesome. 2D, not so much. Yes, exactly. I think that's, that's it on the nose. You can even try that fishing. Give you give that fishing rod. Try the world is your oyster. Like I think like games that do two D really well, you know, and make those choices that fit a two dimensional game. Oh, mwah. Chef's kiss. What? Okay, I immediately forgot. Food food hug can i i'm gonna do another hug oh i'm fine thank you she doesn't want to hug okay here we are oh albert shipyard discovered now head down to albert shipyard and upgrade your blueprint station this is the only way to clear this clutter i'm curious about what it's all made of considering the smell i'd say at least seven different types of dirt and dust Fair enough. All right, come on, dandelion. Yeah, here we go. Daffodil, not dandelion. <laughs> Whoops, that's fine. Is he a shark? Over here. Welcome to my shipyard, young traveler, where my prices are a customer's best friend. I'm Albert been in the business of shipbuilding for ages. Should I assume you are new to Spirit Bearer? You are the new Spirit Bearer? Well, of course you are. Anyway, you've been able to start this ship and bring it here, after all. 
Gwen was right to point you towards my humble enterprise. <laughs> Let me see what you have here. <laughs> nice little dinghy. <laughs> Funny how it looks exactly like the one I'd built some time ago and stored in my old shipyard. <laughs> see, Karen was unhappy about his gloomy and dank arc. Actually, he was always complaining about everything. But the customer's always right. So I built him a newer, better one. Of course, he would never abandon his previous boat. Old habits die hard. Don't worry, you can keep this one. Let's just call this a loan. Oh. Rachel? Is this gonna be a, uh... Tom Nook situation? <laughs> Let me tell you something. You know we always joke about the construction here? Don't worry. We're still working on it. I like him. I like Albert. <laughs> anyway, with a little bit of love, this bird will be resplendent again. The first thing you'll need is a proper blueprint table. Since it's your lucky day and I'm feeling generous, I'll offer it to you. Free of charge. Mind you, it's just a bit bare bones in terms of functionality. But the subsequent upgrades will come at such a small price, you'll want to buy them almost immediately. Simply direct me to upgrade the ship. This is a good tutorial, too. I feel like it's very... Okay, so you need, um, items. Okay. And pot. Okay. You'll be able to build and edit your buildings on your boat. What a treat. But if you really want to upgrade your boat in size and in pleasure, I'm your guy. Come back when you feel your boat is getting too crowded. Cheers. Alright. Whoop. Oh, I can swim. Oh, good. Okay. There's nothing here. Oh, daffodils riding on me! <laughs> That's very cute. Or on her, no, on her ball. There we go. Finally! Good. Albert gave it to you for free, and he said he loaned the ship to you? Ominous. Hard to know what he has in mind, but it doesn't sound reassuring. Anyway, let's focus on the task at hand for now. I heard a noise that sounded like Rachel was getting into something, but I don't see him. Mm. Cleaning up this deck, you can go to your new blueprint table above your cabin and select the move option. In it, you'll be able to remove any building and get uh, back resources. Mm. Go for it. I'll wait down here. Is this? No, wait. This is what happens when I don't pay full attention to what. Oh, here's the fishing. Ah, got a herring. All right, what? Oh, it's up. Oh, I see. Okay, I found it. Salvage. 20 maple logs, 3 empty bottles, 2 old shoe, and 1 old carpet. Cool. Okay. You did a wonderful job, Stella. And the good news is that you have enough resources to add a guest house to your ship. Unnecessary amenity. Mm -hmm. Newly welcome spirits such as myself will have a temporary place to relax and sleep. Well, sleep not really. I can tell you for sure that no one will be thrilled to spend more than one night in there. Mm -hmm. But it beats sleeping on the deck. The stars are pretty, but the wood is stiff and the humidity is hard to tolerate. I'll leave you to it. Have fun. Okay. 
garden. There we go. That's the guest house. Oh, we get to choose. <gasps> oh, wait, this is awesome. I don't feel like it should be. Should it be tall? I'm just, I'm just gonna put it here for now, but that's awesome. This guest house is very pretty. <laughs> it has your touch. Nice work as usual. Mm -hmm. Now at last I have a place to sit down and enjoy the view. Oh, wait. Mm -hmm. What is going on? You wanna oh. Hold on. Sorry, I gotta take care of that. All right. Ooh, what, what is going on? Something else is happening. Ah, I should have expected this. I'm actually hungry. Very hungry. You know how terrible a cook I am. But I remember you being absolutely fantastic at it. You might have fished a few fishes already. Trouble is, I can't really eat an entire raw fish. I could try for sure, but I'll probably choke on the fishbone and never survive. Mm -hmm. That's not how you want me to go. As absurd as this sounds. So you should keep on using this blueprint table of yours and build a kitchen aboard. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure I've seen the plans board in there. As well as all the necessary resources. Damn. You require bright jelly. Mm -hmm. and there's only one way to get some. I... Mm -hmm. Look, I should have told you this when I first met you here. Something scares the hell out of me. Mm -hmm. A dark presence, and even I cower from it. A void that swallows all, light included. It can take many forms, and for me it is always jellyfish. Mm -hmm. Yes, I am fully aware of the irony. The bright jelly you need for the kitchen, well, only these jellyfish can provide it to you. So there is no other mm -hmm. option. I'll have to face my fears. But you're here. With you, I can do it. It will appear as a dark patch of pure fear on your map. So you can't go. I'll take some time to prepare. Me. All right. Oh, cool. Oh. All right, well, first, I guess we gotta go here, right? Yeah. Still can't sleep yet. <sighs> the reflection! if I fall off.
I am not excited to fight some evil jellyfish, but here we are. Oh, no. Oh, we can pet daffodil. Damn, here they come. Remember, set your eyes on the ones with the bright jelly. They should be visible enough. That said, pop as many as you can. You'll get glimpses anyway. I will wait for you inside. It's just too hard for me to stay out here. Okay, go ahead. I believe. Ah, what am I supposed to do? Oh. Oh, okay, we just... Oh, okay, I get it. Wait, come back. I just do this until... Okay. Wait. Oh, she's outside. <laughs> okay. I'm really impressed. You rocked out there. Tumbling and diving like a shooting star. Oh, look how happy Stella is. <laughs> Not the slightest fear nor hesitation at that. You definitely haven't lost your touch, Stella. Mm -hmm. You even gathered enough bright jelly to build a proper kitchen. Go for it. I'll be patiently waiting. Mm -hmm. Slowly digesting myself. <laughs> I get cranky when I'm hungry. All right. Ooh, oh, okay. Now use the kitchen's oven. It should be rather simple. Put any one ingredient in the oven and wait for it to be mm. cooked. You can even try these loose corn kernels that have been hanging around my pocket. I can wait to see you. I can't wait to see you in your cooking glory again. You got this. Cook recipes. Two dark. Okay. Oh, okay. Interesting. Okay. So I do have. Oh. Can. <laughs> Ah, yes. I forgot to tell you about this. Mm -hmm. As you can see, this boat stops at night. I believe it is a side effect of your Everlight beam. Well, light. Or some other technicality. Mm -hmm. That being said, it will allow people to sleep undisturbed. You, in the meantime, can do anything you want. Tackle unfinished business or just chill out on the deck under the stars. 
I'd suggest you go to sleep, too, in that cozy little room we're talking about. Mm -hmm. You'll wake up refreshed and ready to go, and this ship will start up again in the morning. Oh, and talking about that, you know me, waking up on time has never been my forte. Mm -hmm. You can ring that big bell over there to wake people up. Remember, only do it at the right time. Mm -hmm. Early morning should be the trick. Speaking of which, it's time for me to take a nap. See you tomorrow, Stella. Mm -hmm. Have a good night. Okay, so we can't ring the bell anymore, just willy-nilly. Of a bitch. Oh, we can do a bunch of ones. Wait. Hi, bud. We've got our very own spirit kitty over here. Popcorn! Alright, let's go sleep. Oh. So far, this game is lovely. Press M. Oh, cool. Is it bell time? I like how the clock even has a little bell on it, so you can, like, oh, yep, it's the right time. Time for the bell. I can smell it. I could eat anything. Just give me some food. Well, I won't die just yet. Thanks, Stella. It's better than I thought it could be. I think she's like eating cake. <laughs> but then again, you've always been a wonder in the kitchen. Mm -hmm. Don't forget, spirits don't run on sunshine and water. We need a good meal once in a while. It will be up to you to understand who's fond of what. Mm -hmm. As for me, I'm sure you can remember I've always loved comfort food. And that I would die for a cup of coffee. But I'm not that picky. I can eat anything. Mm -hmm. Just never the same thing twice. Oh, and before I forget, here is something I was supposed to give you. I'm not sure exactly how it works, but an obol is a symbol of passage. It's a free it's a fee each spirit has to pay you. But something tells me you knew that already. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's keep on improving this craft. As you must have seen in your blueprint table, there's both a field and a garden blueprint. Mm -hmm. Which means you can grow many different things. And turn the ship into an adorable farm of sorts. You should add a field first, in my opinion. Mm. It's going to be easier to find the resources for it around here, and you can grow linen in it. Which in turn will be used to craft more things. In addition to building a field, we should go buy seeds to use mm. it. But that will come later. I need you to visit an island close by. It's called Mostin... Mostin? Mostin? Mostin. It's called Mostin Cove, and there's something on it mm. we need. I'll tell you when we get there. Ah. Can't remember what's inside and what's outside. <laughs> okay. What if we went here? What happens if we fall in the water? Whee. When Stella and Dav or Davidil leave the boat, it stops. Oh, empty shells. Common muscle. All right. Can I get back? There we go. 
Cool. I guess that makes sense. We can't just get swept away by the ocean. Hmm. Don't ask me how, but I've met Albert already. He definitely is a shark. I mean, yes. <laughs> but his interest in all things maritime will be helpful. Hmm. Such as the boat upgrades he sells at the out... out, out, out. <laughs> Sorry. Such as the boat upgrades he sells at an outrageously high price. With those, you'll be able to cross ominous weather barriers in the world. They look like classical mythical challenges again. Mm. A bit cliche, if you ask me. Ooh. Mm. You know, I'm delighted that you're here with me. But I'm not surprised one bit. It adds up. Mm. You here taking care of me in my final hours. I've always cared so damn much about others. Mm. Always protected those you found vulnerable. Even pedantic snobs like me. Remember the day my father yelled at the cat? Mm. We just got out of elementary school. You were wearing those blue sneakers with the glittery tag. And there you were, yelling back at my father like you were on a mission. Mm. Father turned red and smashed the purple Delano vase. It was rad. <laughs> Ooh. Is there more stuff? Or is that it? So I guess the apple will have like a bite taken out of it if she's hungry. That's what I'm gonna assume. Oh, okay. Wow. Mood perk. Shops for fiber, shops for threads, use loom. Oh my gosh, there's so much. There's so much! Favorite food is black coffee, likes comfort food. Call my question mark, dislike, I don't know. Feeling much better. Yay! Daffodil! Why are you so cute? <laughs> Speaking of very cute things. Um, I watched the puppy bowl. Bag on Sunday. So good. Puppy bowl. In my opinion, way better than the Super Bowl. They're y'all. They have like a, a underdog. They like you vote for the underdog, and Hostine Cove discovered. Yay! And there's a dog named Moo Cow, and he was a cute little like I think Pomeranian mix, and he's just black and white. And his name was Moo Cow, and he was so small, and he won the underdog of the year. And oh, so I am absolutely a Moo Cow fan. Moo Cow is my favorite um, athlete. We should hop on that island over there. Maybe we'll find something interesting. Okay. How do I do that? Oh, probably this way. Should we, should we wait for...
here we go. Hmm. What a majestic tree. Well, you can cut it down. Yes, it's fine, I promise. Mm -hmm. It's the best way to get the wood you need, actually. But don't worry, they'll regrow over time. Another interesting fact about the Everlight. I mean, trees do that. I guess... Ooh. <gasps> Berries! Um, okay, I have seen this part, actually. <laughs> this is, like, one of the few parts of this game that I've seen. Is the... Is the... Are you... The saw... The saw comes together. Oh, we have to do it. And then a daffodil is just... Mm -hmm. That's very good. Mm -hmm. Congratulations, you have become death. The destroyer of worlds. Joke aside, that's how you do it. Mm -hmm. You go on ahead, cutting down more trees. Then we can get back to the boat and build the field with all those maple logs. I'll be next to the raft. All right. <laughs> so cute. Daffodil's face is so cute. <laughs> This is more fun than Animal Crossing, I think. Although Animal Crossing is pretty good. Davidel! Ooh. Hold O. Okay. Oh! Oh shit! Oh, I see. Okay. As long as possible. Like, not too, not too long. Ah, shoot. Okay. There we go. Oh. Is that the end of the world? Okay. Yes. Can I just go back? bottle and medium glim bottle. Glim is a very good word for a make-believe currency. Uh, is there more to get? Oh, no. Oh, it's big. It's better looking than I thought. There's a little je ne sais quoi to it. Simple but elegant. Mm -hmm. Now all you have to do is plant field seeds in there. Seeds can grow only in their respective places. Garden seeds won't grow in the field, so don't bother trying. Mm -hmm. But you know me, I will kill a plastic cactus, so don't take my word on this. Anyway, there's only one place where we could possibly find what we need. Theodore specializes in seeds. Mm -hmm. He has set up shop in Hummingburg, the busiest town of the area. Theodore and his brothers are the founders of Raccoon Inc. <laughs> a shady retail franchise with a very loose moral values. This is gonna be an Animal Crossing spoof, huh? <laughs> 
Yes, this world has a serious problem of dubious business practices. Mm -hmm. Since I don't want to want you to get swindled, I'll come with you and do most of the talking. I've run into this cheeky little raccoon once, and his dishonesty was blatant. Let's head to Hummingbird then. Mm -hmm. We just need to find some seeds for that field. Did I find? Oh, I'm entering. Oh, I see. When planted in the field, those seeds will grow. Corn. Oh. oh, okay, yeah, we can water it. I guess I will go to bed. <laughs> that makes me want to take a nap. Not me just running into the wall. Good morning, Stella. Mm -hmm. The snack would be great right about now. Oh. Mm -hmm. Oh, thank you, Stella. I love comfort mm -hmm. food so damn much. The popcorn is comfort food. It's nice. Mm -hmm. No, we still have to go talk to Theodore, but... I don't know why I put this all the way up here, but I don't know. I just like having it. Wee. 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 Lightning in a bottle, interesting. Look at these idle animations. Excuse me. Oh, hummingbird discovered. I 
remember how I I pet the cat last time. Oh. Oh, I can open it. Okay. <laughs> Maybe I should, um, make some food. Right. If I leave that in there too long, is it gonna burn? I hope not. Hmm. Alright, we're here. Let's buy some seeds. Theodore has set up shop on his island. On this island, let's pay him a visit. Hello? Oh, stinky. Oh. No, they're not stinky. <laughs> they're just spirits, huh? I'm out here looking for the right house to start a family. My wife sent me out to find something that might fit our needs. A garden, maybe a pool. Oh. I'm not asking for much, I just can't decide. I know that you can't help me, but it helps to say it out loud. Oh. I might stumble on the rarest of finds. Oh. oh, let me guess. I'm a bit of a psychic, you know. Your name is Mary. Or Marguerite? It's Missy. Wait, no. Eshi! Don't tell me it's. Oh, shit. I'll get it. Someday. <laughs> yeah, I hope my next game will be ready soon. I've crunched the data and spent five nights theory crafting. Clearly, if you take the heavy weapon proficiency from the Mountain Gnome race, there's a nifty synergy with the level 3 rogue ability of Eviscerate. It's for sure a bit weird, but hey, 5d20 and auto crit are pr on prone can't be defeated, am I right? <laughs> Love it. I simply adore your hat. Our local shop, Raccoon Inc., only carries garbage, but wears. Seeds, logs, rocks, all useless items. I need me a hat like yours. Oh. Take a good look at the shrine, Stella. It's simply stunning. Some objects in this world are meant to resonate with the spirit bearer and the Everlight. Mm -hmm. I've heard this monument has the power to enhance the Everlight's ability. Mm -hmm. The two slots on it need to be filled up. I'm fairly certain you could use obols to activate it. But to get obols, you need to welcome more spirits onto your mm -hmm. ship. I'm sure you'll find more lost souls like me. Double jump. Um, okay. We need to. Can we go in the houses? <gasps> we can go in the houses. My favorite spot is this bench at the end of the pier. It's beautiful and quite peaceful. After a long day's work. Oh my! I shouldn't have told you if I wanted to keep it that way. True, and I'm gonna steal your favorite spot! Okay, hold on. There- yeah. Okay, I'm gonna go in. Oh! I'm going home. Don't follow me. Please. I hate it when people know where I live. If you know my address, you'll tell people. Then they'll tell people. Listen. I just don't want any junk mail. Ooh. Ooh. <gasps> this game is amazing. He lives. Be gone, stranger. Oh. Yes? No, oh, I thought you had something to say. <laughs> I'm busy, miss. Good. He 
He's so cute. There's Theodore. Go ahead, take a look at what he's selling. Oh, and talk to him. Step right up, potential prospect. Welcome to Raccoon Inc. We've been servicing Hummingbird since forever. We've got the glim- or oh, you've got the glims, I've got the good. I've got all the wares to make you spend those hard-earned glims. Step right up. Key. This key opens the door next to the broken ladder. It's a lot of money. Got seeds. Carrot seeds. Turnip seeds. Oh. Oh, they cost a lot of money. What was that? Those prices are out of control. I won't let him get away with this. Are you ready to see me obliterate this merchant? Yes or no? Yes. Good, let's do this. Theodore. I know what you're doing here. And you should be ashamed of yourself, you trash panda. Mm. People like you are the reason we have middle fingers. <laughs> oh my gosh. Mm. What? Madam, th what's the meaning of this? Mm. My friend here is the new spirit fairer, but she's not a newbie, and neither am I. Mm. That little scam of yours won't work on us. Mm. But I, I can assure you my business practices are quite above board. Mm. Be warned, you treacherous striped weasel. I won't tolerate this behavior one more second. No more shenanigans, no more double crosses, mm -hmm. just fair prices. Mm -hmm. Aye, aye. Mm -hmm. So stop being dishonest at once. And next time I see you, I'll try being nicer. If you start being smarter. Mm -hmm. Got it? Mm -hmm. But, yes, yes, of course. Mm -hmm. I promise I'll adjust my prices. I beg you, please don't scold me anymore. I'll give you a discount. I'll even give you a discount. Hey, you. Yes, you. Your friend really gave that greedy merchant some hell. You both look like you could possibly join the upstairs crew. Laser, thank you for the subscription. Oh my gosh. 14 months, Laser. 14 months. Hello, yes, you are here. Welcome in. How are you? How is your day going? You want to come up, don't you? I can see it in your eyes. I'm not going to lie. It is pretty cool being up here. Yeah, all the best people are up here. Don't get too excited, though. Some idiot, idiot broke the ladder. You'd have to be able to jump inhumanely high to make it. I guess you could also use the stairs in that house. But some other idiot lost the key. Well, anyway, see ya. <laughs> Upstairs crew forever! Body's being stupid, so you paused work for a nap. Hey. You gotta do what you gotta do. Today's thing you forgot came with the stage of uh, pots with coat hanger paint. Oh, I'm sorry. You're working six hour days for a reason. Yes, you have to rest when you have to rest. You know, you gotta listen to your body. Mm. Oh. Please, I can't eat the same thing twice. I don't hate myself that much. Rude. Mm. Mm. No, sorry, Stella. You know I can't eat fruit mm. for the life of me. I've tried, but I just can't. That's all I have. Well, Laser, I really hope you get rest and feel better. Okay, yeah. So we either have to double jump or get enough to get the key. You're allowed to not spend everything at work so that you can laugh and check and be a real boy at home. Yes, exactly. Exactly. Do not let the capitalist tell you otherwise. Okay, so now everything is a lot more. Easy to buy. We have corn going. I'll try another corn. I am out of money. But yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. You do not owe your your job everything. You know, you you owe them exactly 
what they asked for. Plus, honestly, if you nap now, you'll maybe be functional this evening. If you don't nap, you'll probably still get no get <laughs> no work done and then still feel like shit this evening. Exactly. Exactly. Like, you don't... Like, I should say, even if work or whatever is asking, like, they're like, no, you have to get all this. It's like, no. <laughs> you do not owe them your functionality. You do not owe them your joy. You do not owe... You do not have to sacrifice your joy for them. If you got everything you need, I'll take your leave. Feel free to stay here as long as you want. I'll meet you at the pier. So yeah, good nap is good. Self-care is good. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, I'm in a bit of a rush. Wee. 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 Honestly, work is great. Well, the people you work with are great and easy to handle disability stuff with and very understanding and flexible. That's awesome. That's awesome. Corporate sometimes needs some screws. Yeah. yeah. You owe your job the same the time that they buy from me. Exactly. That is literally it, Dad Beard. Absolutely. Absolutely. I um <laughs> I get paid minimum wage, so. But um I have a little bit of a rant about work, <laughs> if you're willing to hear it. Um, I work, I've said it before, for a big box department store that we that shall rename, remain nameless. Um, hmm. Hold on, I will finish my thought first. Um, yeah, so work, they've, they've been doing this thing lately. Where, so they only give us 10 days notice for like one week at a time for our schedule. Um, and the schedule changes every week, um, which isn't great. But lately, they've been changing the schedule after posting it without like letting us know. Like the only thing they do to let us know that it's changed is to put a tiny little sign above where we clock in that says the schedule's changed. It's like, well, if I don't come in <laughs> between the time you change it and the time... Yeah, it's rough. You're very lucky in that you actually got a substantial raise last year and your 70% pay looks a lot like 90% last year. And your living expenses have barely changed. That's awesome! I can afford to wait this out. Yeah, no, absolutely. That That is that is so awesome that you have a job and got a raise like that. that I mean, it is what everyone deserves, right? Everyone deserves to live to to be able to take breaks when they need it when their bodies need it you know that's awesome your thumb is as green as your hat this boat will soon become a cozy floating farm don't forget that you'll probably have to water the plants once in a while don't ask my word for it though my gardening knowledge is as limited as my father's empathy you'll have to find better mentors then which reminds me as a disabled person, you deserve to be able to live on the 100% that you're able to give. Absolutely, laser. Absolutely. Right now, that's 70%. Exactly. Exactly. I believe it's time for you to find new people now that I don't love the idea of just the two of us cruising the oceans, but you are the spirit bearer. And spirit bearers find spirits and, yes, help them fulfill their last wishes, however mundane they can be. I've heard of a place not far from here where someone might be in need of your help. I'll bet you like this one, if he's who I think he is. Mm. Go. Let's sail. Okay, well, first I have to do the garden. Woo! Do linen. Maybe I'll do another coffee. How am I how am I enjoying this? Started the demo once and wasn't super hooked, although it's off Hades. Okay, yes. I am loving it so far. It's definitely a very different vibe because I've been playing Elden Ring for like the last month. And so to to change over to this game has been very, very different. But I, I am finding it very charming and very relaxing. I'm still not I don't think I'm quite out of the tutorial, but um so far I really like it. It's just it's just a very different vibe. 
I hope I didn't cook my muscles. Or, cook. I mean, burn them. Okay, it looks like you cannot burn. Uh, ooh, let's make ah. Dream Elements is going. Uh, wait, Dream Elements. I think Stream Elements has been doing some double posting in chat. <laughs> so if you see stuff twice, just ignore it. But yeah, I could see how, like, playing this game after Hades would be, like, completely 180 direction. Oh, yeah, it's, um, so that's, it's not an auto mod. It's something I set up for, for words like stupid or insane or, or other, like, ableist language. Um, because just personally, I'm trying to, like, phase words like that out of my vocabulary and I've kind of wanted to set chat like it, it's not an odd I didn't set it to like hide anything because I didn't want it to be like severe but I wanted it to be just like a hey this is a thing you know you said uh the word stupid um where is it um a while ago which is weird is why like I don't see anything else that would have triggered it it was here. Uh, is this one, but then Automat or Stream Elements triggered it a, the thing again, <laughs> and that's just because Stream Elements has been um, <laughs> I don't know. Stream Elements has been weird today. Might as well pick a bunch of uh, popcorn. And I'm also, uh, this is just a general thing. When that pops up, I'm not necessarily going to address it every time because, like, unless, like, someone in chat goes, oh, what was that, you know? Because, like, I don't want it to be, like, a discussion every time but i you know i want people to you can say it's being a butt yes okay uh what's the recommended language there though dumb is worse right so so saying dumb triggered it again um yeah <laughs> um but yeah you were expecting that okay cool 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 <laughs> um yeah, being a butt is a very good one. Being... I guess, yeah, depending on what you mean, it's just like... You could say frustrating, ornery... Stuff like that. I don't know. <laughs> um, contrary. Contrary is a good one. Rude. It was being rude. Oh, wait, hold on. Uh, I'm gonna go ring the bell. I'm gonna go ring the bell before it's too late to ring the bell. I've got that, I've got that weird feeling. I'm actually rather hungry. Well, I've actually got food for you. <laughs> At least I wanted that. Now this is one damn fine cup of coffee. I've had... I can't tell you how many cups of coffee in my life, but this is certainly my favorite of them all. Thank you very, very much, Stella. Yay.
Okay, I'm gonna go water the garden. And then we're gonna take a break. I'm hungry. The ladder sounds are so good. Hold on. I don't know if you can like hear it on the stream, but that was very good. All right. I will be back soon. Take a nap. Get whatever you need. <laughs> Eat, drink, be merry. I will be back in a bit. Hey, hi. We are back with the cat squad. That's right. Someday I'm going to figure out how to mic the cats so you can hear them. <laughs> Y'all are celebrities. Did you know that? What's it like being famous, kitty? I'd like more treats, please. As long as it gives us more treats, we love it. Okay, one more. One more. We're running out, though. There we go. I hope the brick was good to everyone. I hope you are enjoying the kitties. I might go for another half an hour, 45 minutes. Maybe, oh, well, I don't know. We'll see. You're about to go on lunch, Dad Beer? Yes. Yes, get that lunch. <laughs> God, lunch is such a good part of the day. <laughs> so good. What am I supposed to be doing? Find a passenger on Bark and Shame Creek. Find a passenger in Hummingbird. Okay, we're in Hummingbird. Right? Yes. Oh. Yes. Oh, I thought you had something to say. Oh, this guy. Mm. Yeah, I hope my next game will be already soon. Okay, we already read that. Hmm. Yes. Ah! They all say that to me. Mm. I'm browsing for some fiber. Not you sitting here with your Huel bottle because drinking lunch is so easy. Also, cooking requires safety. Hey, whatever fills your tummy, you know? Thank you. You know, it's all, it's all good. Oh, right. Okay. I think I'm gonna have to get up there. How much is the... 5,000. I definitely do not have that much. And we're either gonna have to do that or get double jump to get up there. So I think we have to go to the other place first. If 
you don't care about what you're eating, it's a waste of time to cook and a waste of money to get takeout. So, Yule. Absolutely. What is your opinion? It also sounds very logical. <laughs> I, I've i never tried Yule or any other kind of like... What? How do you describe it? Like a liquid meal? But I know that lots of people find them very helpful and very good. Because it's like, a lot of times it's like... It's not like, oh, I'm going to do this just because I don't want to cook. It's like, if I don't have this... Meal replacement, all right. But yeah, if I don't have this, I'm not going to eat anything. And I know that, like... It's... Yeah, it's very good. Really good for mid-crafting binge. Oof. Oof. I might, I might look into it, because actually, I know I have... I have trouble remembering to eat sometimes, or it's like, uh, I do not have the energy or time to make food, you know? Only like two minute pause. Oh, that's perfect. Where am I going? Dark guy? No. Ah, I have to go. Hmm. Let's go get some resources. No, yeah, that sounds like super good. I know there's like Soylent, right, is a is another like version of that. If you do do it, it is similar to a protein shake in that you should not leave the residue in the bottle overnight because it will go bad. That is good to know. I am also the kind of person who will definitely leave residue in a bottle overnight. <laughs> you can just shake some soapy water in it and rinse things off just fine. Okay, that's good to know. <laughs> that's very good to know. Gosh damn it, executive dysfunction. You are not helpful. You tried Soylent in grad school. It was fine. Internet said this one might be a little bit better when I was looking at me. Okay. Cool. Yeah, I mean, like, I, I wouldn't know. I know, like, this is different, but, like, overnight oats is like it kind of marketed itself kind of in a similar vibe but i i don't think it's like the same i mean it, it's just overnight oats but you pay for it <laughs> oh, oh oh die there we go whoa cool you're not gonna tell you you must watch without giving you a 60 second solution yeah no that's great <laughs> very helpful you usually do protein shakes in mason jars because you have many and they don't absorb smell. That! Also a good idea. Oh! You're really proud of how much you've learned about working with your brain in the last few years? Yeah. I, you know, I've gone through a similar thing where it's just like, I've, I've, I've had to like really reevaluate mm, how I do things and, and come to terms of like, no, this is, no, my brain needs something different to be able to function, <laughs> you know? And like, it's, it's such a valuable thing. To, to be in that process and, and learning and and kind of building or like rebuilding stuff like that, you know? Like processes and stuff. I've got some thread here. I was going to use it to weave some fabric for you later, but if you want, I can give it to you for you to weave. Do you want the thread? Ooh. No, you can make it. Okay, I'll keep the thread for my weave. Oh, she's very happy. All right. All right, we got some. I don't want to go back to Albert Shapiro, but maybe if we're going there, we should go. 
here for and get some jelly. that's kind of like like being neurodivergent <laughs> in this world this society um is really hard <laughs> but one of the like silver linings of it for me has been like like there was a point in my life where it was so hard to like how to put this like function right like i i was I couldn't do a lot and I was so like broken, we will say. I was, I mean, yeah, I was so like, my mental health was not, I don't want to get like too into it, but my mental health wasn't great. I was doing pretty bad, but because of like undiagnosed like neurodivergency, but that in itself, and this is a privilege to be able to do, but that in itself, like forcing me to go to therapy if you felt that way broken as well. Yeah, I mean, like, I, I, not that, like, my brain was fundamentally broken, but my spirit was broken. <laughs> you know, like, there's a difference there. Um, but, like, I am finally at a place where I can look back and be like, okay, yeah, I mean, it's all sucked pretty hard, but. Oh, no, don't go in there. No. But it, it has given me the chance to really, really learn myself. Burnout. Yeah, that's a good. That's yeah. Yes, it, I was definitely burnt out. Although I didn't even know it at the time. Like that's what was happening. Here they come again. Huh? I don't feel great. I'll still have faith for you. I'll go walk to the side. Don't be scared. I'll be coming straight for us. Okay. Um. Sounds like you feel like you were out coming out. Yes. I mean, it has taken like a solid five years of therapy. But that's what I'm saying. Is like as much as it was like really awful to go through. Like, I feel like. <laughs> that silver lining is that like I it forced me to really learn who I was as a person and like to get in in touch with my inner thoughts and feelings and and do that work that a lot of people don't do or get the chance to do and that is like really special to me you know it took you two weeks to realize that the pots had backslid by two years oh my gosh oh my gosh They're so tall. Why are they up there? Sorry, I'm like talking about this like very important thing and then also playing this game. Which... A little bit of a, a back and forth there. It wasn't boring. Da it wasn't boring data process putting you to sleep, but you could literally handle less than four hours of work sitting in that chair. You were hitting the wall. Yeah. Yeah, and you know, it's like you really gotta be in tune with yourself and like to even know what's going on is like like it sucks that that it is happening but also like the way that you have it it forces us to like our society is not built for that which also sucks and is why part of the reason why it's so hard in the first place but like I think a lot of people just don't get to know themselves that much it's the same thing with i i have found personally at least like with being queer like and especially being like trans and like having to like come to terms with an identity that i didn't even know existed until i was like over 18 <laughs> like it's hard but i i had to ask myself a lot of deep questions that I think like cis people and non-queer people just don't ask themselves and I I feel like way more in tune with myself now which is yeah it's just I, yeah a silver lining <laughs> I wouldn't say it's like like oh yeah no it was all worth it because of self-discovery but you know what I mean 
You knew that it was possible to look totally fine and have all the obvious body parts working and still be disabled. Yes, yes, yes. Like that, that kind of thing too. Like, like, yeah, invisible illnesses and and learning about ourselves help us, helps us learn about others as t too. You know. You know, yeah, yeah. And yeah, <laughs> it's unfortunate that 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 kind of learning isn't really is something our our society is like built for. It's very different going from 15 hours a week of bike to I hope I can stand for more than 10 minutes a day. Yeah. Absolutely. That's yeah, that's hard. You actually had a great interaction with a coworker who had recently had COVID. Oh. I forgot what I'm doing. Oh, I was getting the jellyfish. Now we're gonna go sleep, I guess. I guess we can... And it'll start going in the morning. You are explaining to him how your brain, brain was low and he immediately compared it to experience of brain fog with COVID. Brain fog is one of those things that it's impossible to explain and he just understood, yeah. Yeah, brain fog... When it, like... I don't have, like, POTS or, like, a physical illness that, um, creates brain fog, but I, I have found, like, especially with, like, a deep depression that I've, you know, experienced in the past, like, that kind of brain fog that people just, like, they don't understand what it's like to, to have to try to function with a brain fog like it and it's so scary and isolating but that's yeah that's cool i mean it sucks that he had covid and it sucks that you know <laughs> but yeah to have that connection of like oh yeah you get it it's so weird when your brain just stops yeah absolutely absolutely and like you said it is it's hard to, it's hard to describe and like i think when you do try to describe it to people who haven't really experienced it, they're like, well, okay, I've been tired. <laughs> you know, I've... I've had a day where I was, like, space spacing out. Like, well... Uh. <laughs> that, that's not it. Whoa! <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> Hello there, young lady. I guess you must be the new spirit bearer. Happy to make your acquaintance. I'm Francis. I can say I'm sort of wandering merchant. See, I'm very fond of things. Objects, curios, tchotchkes. I just buy everything. Simply put, I will buy anything you don't want anymore. I'm sure you've come across a few valuable treasures already. So tell me, what is it you want to part with? Oh. Old shoes. Old carpet. Should be sold. I like how they just tell you. This should be sold. Beautiful specimen. Was... But this one doesn't rule anything except your wallet. Should be sold. Odd seed. What's this? When planted in the garden, it could turn into anything. Hopefully, something good. An empty bottle. Eh. Huh. The most supportive friend you have. Combo of time and proximity and availability and stuff. Not that others are bad, right? Uh, is also a type 1 diabetic. He's just uh, good at going with the flow. Yeah. And, yeah. Like, people who are going through similar things, like, they're the ones who are gonna, you know, understand the most. You think it's because you also had a chronic condition that can randomly make her need to go lie down. Yeah. Yeah, like... Mm -hmm. That could be great. Okay. Go ahead. 
popcorn. Mm. This is outrageously good. Comfort food always tastes so mm. good. Okay. But yeah, it's like... Yeah, there's special connections there. <laughs> you made today the laser show? It's fine. I think... Well, I will... To be fair, like, I think... This... This conversation is important to have, you know? What you doing in game? Not a lot. Um, I think that's also part... Like, this game... Is very easygoing. Like, I don't really have to come... Um, but let's see. Um, we have to find a passenger. To find a passenger, I need to upgrade the ship, I think. Yeah, we're trying to find some spirits to fare. To, to fare. To fare? I've been getting your mail here for the past month. I'm not a post office. You need to add a mailbox to your boat. If I get one more letter filled with glitter, I'll lose it. I'm warning you. <laughs> You want to know what this game reminds you of? Foster's Home for Imaginary Friends! Yes! Absolutely. Absolutely. You might be a customer, but I reserve the right to yell at you. Get it done. Okay, he wants me to... Do it. But yes, yes! The animation feels very similar to Foster's Home. And the humor. Oh, wait. I don't know why. I think the, the shark is gonna build it. Wow, I haven't- I haven't thought of or watched that show in a long time. I heard they just fired an employee at the popcorn factory. He was a good worker, but they found him sleeping on the cob. <laughs> oh, here it is. Maple plank, linen thread, lightning in a bottle. Okay, I need, I think really I need to. Sawmill Lumen Foundry, that'd be pretty good. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna do that. Um, we can do this as well. I need maple plank, linen thread, lightning in a bottle. I. Foundry, uh, uh, sawmill, loom. Okay, we need logs and quartz and. Okay, let's. Where do we want to go for all that? There's a lot of downtime in this game. Where's she going? Wait. Oh wait, did I not? Glad you came to talk to me. Like I said earlier, we needed more people on this boat. New passengers. Mm. There's got to be a few people around. Lost like I was. Well, maybe not exactly like mm. I'm aware of a few things that might go unnoticed by most. That's probably why father was always suspicious of me. My mom gave me a hard time for it. Yeah, I know. That's what we're gonna, that's what we're gonna be doing. Me 
need resources. I guess I could just try to go there, but let's go here first. My plants. My plants. I need to water my plants. Got linen. This is good. on these upgrades. Okay. Got it. Okay. Just go check it out, I guess. I like how you can see them through the window. Baking raspberries does. Whoa. Oh, it's a bus stop. 
It's a, it is a bus. What? right about it being a bus symbol. Interesting. I wonder if this is for um, multiplayer or something. I don't know. Very interesting. I just want to try to go there and we'll see what happens. Bye, bus stop. This is probably gonna be bad. But I have a smile on my face, so what could possibly go wrong? Just, you just gotta be optimistic, you know? Uh oh. If we stop in the middle of the storm, is that, is that bad? Oh, this rain. Will it ever stop? That was not helpful. Oh, go in. Okay. Well, we're not dying. That's good. It also feels very Stardew Valley-ish. Like there's all it's I don't know. Very good. Nope. Right. Okay. I call perfect blend of coffee that hits the spot. Birkenshine Creek discovered. Or is it parking? Poached fruit! Delicious. some thread here. I was going to use it with some fabric for you later. Uh, no. Mm -hmm. You keep it for the weaving. If you ever, uh, stream your notification should read, come watch the laser show. I love that. That's perfect. <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> it's time for the laser show. gonna get old. <laughs> the way Daffodil just hangs in the air. Oof. Not the log. Oh, a spirit! Listen, I just dropped a lemon in that pond. My fingers were all sticky. Just sort of slipped. Why? Good question. 
I've been eating delicious berries all day. Look at my hands, I swear. I've been experimenting. I wanted to squeeze a little bit of citrus on the wild fruit. Now it's just berries with no twist. <laughs> you, unless it's just down there in the water. I'd do it myself, but I have these pulpy fruits to take care of. Got the lemon. That's the one. I just need to find a tissue or something. I don't want to get a berry juice all over it. Never mind. Just hold on to that lemon for me. Don't go and squeeze it. Wait a minute. Maybe you could help me? This island is fresh out of food. My stomach always feels empty. Maybe I could even help out aboard your ship. With cooking, fishing, and building. I don't have my spices and tools, but I'll make it work. Don't think about it so much. Let's just go to your boat. Yay! I want to see, is there any... Nope. I want to see if I could read the sign. Oh, it did not let me. I'll be your favorite new passenger. Just you wait. Yay! Got a new friend. Stella! Oh, wow. This boat is amazing. Here comes the real kicker, you little rascal. Get ready for a family reunion. So pretty. It's me, Stella. Your uncle, Atul. Surprise? Happily, I hope. I've been on that island for a while now. I can't wait to see the sights, to see you with you. It was lonely with my thoughts. Now I got you, Sprout. Let's set sail for a great adventure. Onward. Wait a second. Is that a... Uh, <laughs> that a what? Look at how cute. Ooh. I knew it. Ooh. That's a Seamaster 2000. <laughs> I've actually never seen it in action. I've only heard the rumors. Apparently, you can catch the biggest and brightest fish out there. Wow, Stella. You sure know how to treat yourself. Ooh. Wait a darn second. You're missing a few bolts. Let me guess. Ooh. You've been fishing out mostly garbage. Well, not anymore. You'll see the difference immediately. Give it a go. Give it a go for a fan. Woo! Oh, whoops. My only my second time fishing, so. Is that a squid? Whoa! Oh, that's not what I meant to do. But I'll do it again, I guess. A herring. They never stood a chance. You sure don't mess around. That's what makes you a bro. All this ace level fishing has gotten me rattled up, which reminds me. I have this shiny thing in my pockets on the island. I have no idea what it does. Maybe you can hold on to it. For safekeeping, I suppose. Oh, brother. I need to take a breather. Oh, and by the way, you might be curious and might have already tried, but yes, the water is very salty. <laughs> well, I'll go and take a look around so you can fish to your heart's content if you want. Yay! Yeah. <laughs> You've upgraded your boat. Hmm, that's weird. Don't tell Albert, but he left some bolts loose. He was probably just in a hurry. Give me a second. Here we go. Oh, mama. That did more than I thought. Let's see. Well, this boat's got some advanced options now. First up, you can travel safely and not go through all the dangers the sea has to offer. 
when you're using your map, just you just need to toggle on safe travel mode. It's that simple. Oh. Don't worry, it won't stay on forever. Next time you select a destination, it won't be on. I hope that helps. Oh. What else do we have here? Oh yeah, that engine's been boosted. You can now set multiple destination oh. points. That's pretty handy. You can set your course and let the wind do its job. Besides that, it's just a bigger boat with more room. Oh. Well, have fun. Yay. Wait, let's set a course first, I guess. Look at that. You've got two obols. Remember that shrine in Hummingbird? I'd try and add them there. If we're lucky, it might do something amazing. If not, you'll have wasted your time. You should go see. Alright. Can we give him a hug? <laughs> Little hug always brightens my day. Do we know what he likes? Fruit? Oh. oh, we know he likes fruit. Oh boy! I just love food! Keep him coming! Oh. I can't get enough of it! Oh. Oh. Oh, quick from here. This is what I call a storm. Any respectable person would never let their friend get hit by lightning. But I think you should try. Oh. You have the Everlight. It'll protect you. The lightning bolts will cast sparkles where they're about to hit. Rush towards them! Ah, I almost forgot. Have you got any empty bottles? Oh. If you're hit by lightning with an empty bottle, you get a lightning in a bottle! Isn't that bananas? <laughs> This world! Oh. Lightning and bottles are a pretty handy resource, so come here equipped. As a head start, here are a few bottles for you. But don't worry, like they're pretty easy to come by. Ooh. Get ready for the thrill of your life! Okay, ow. Oh! Like that is so fun, right? I can't let you go now that I've got you. All I need is to be struck by your electric bomb. Ah. Okay, I've run out of bottles. This is very fun, though. And you get glimpse for it too. <gasps> oh, thank goodness! I wasn't sure if you were going to make it for a second there. You gave your old uncle quite a scare. <laughs> Did you feel that rumble? What a rush! You look pretty awesome catching those bolts of lightning all over the boat. Thanks for being the best captain I could have ever hoped for. Where I live, we don't really get... I mean, we get a lot of rain, but we don't... We get, like, maybe one or two thunderstorms a year. And they're always... They're not usually that close. Or intense. Mm -hmm. I could go for... And a moose bouche. Mm. I'll take comfort food over over almost anything. Mm. Feeling much better. Alright, um Yeah, you have a vague idea of where you are and you know the general weather, yeah. Yeah, it's 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 mild, one might say. Um 
I lived in Olympia, Washington for a while. And the the thunderstorms up there were like were so intense. They were like there I remember the first one, it was like the middle of the night. And there was like a thunderclap so loud that it like shook the building I was in and and car alarms started going off. It was wild. And then my professor, because I was going to college there, my professor the next day, like everyone was like, oh my gosh, did you feel the, the thunderstorm? Oh my gosh. And my professor who is from like Arkansas was like, you know, you don't know. You don't know what, that was nothing. <laughs> you don't know what a thunderstorm is. Oh, 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 I went right past the shrine. Um, but yeah. I don't know if I'd want to live, like, anywhere with, like, thunderstorms bigger than Olympia, though. Because that was, like, intense for me. <laughs> like, car alarms went off. That was... Powerful. I love how Daffodil does it too. A few nights ago, huge thunderstorm by your house, lightning strike like half a mile from your house. Ah, oh, that's so intense. Ah, Danbeard, I'm glad you're all okay. <laughs> your dog was not having a good night. Oh yeah, absolutely. Poor pets, and they're just like. They don't know what's going on. And it's so loud. Hello, jump. No, come back. Come back, dude. Come back. You made it. I I did. Wait. Wicked moves getting up here. I kind of lied earlier. It's not so great up here. But you're here, so it might get better. I don't have a membership card for you. You'll be an honorary member of the upstairs crew. I'd show you the secret handshake, but I don't know where your hands have been. Fair enough. Mm -hmm. My sister keeps asking me for money. How can I say no without saying no? <laughs> Maybe I should ask someone to rob me. <laughs> hmm. I just don't want to loan my sister money. How do I say no without saying no? <gasps> EP. Ah. Uh. Upstairs crew forever. <laughs> yes, young person. Can I assume you are busy? Of course you're busy. Mm. Wait a second. You don't have a full service kitchen. Mm. Come back when you do. I have quite the pitch for you. Interesting. How do I get... On the out... Oh, I have double gem for now. <gasps> Aha! Figured it out. Okay, there should be a spirit out here for me to select. Probably this one. What? Oh! You gave me such a fright. That cat looks familiar. Daffodil? Is that you? Oh yes, yes it is! You're so silky, aren't you? Then that must mean... Stella? Is that really you? What a fantastic turn of events! And is that your boat over there at sea? You've come to rescue me again, I see. Well, not so fast. This time I'll be the one doing the teaching. You can bet on it. Let's get going then. We have some lessons to go through. Whoa! Okay, let's go back to the boat. Uh, 
Then I might take another break. Okay, wait. No, we'll talk to our friend first. Or whoever this is. Over here, little one. Oh, Estella, all this air, all this open space. So I, can, I feel I can grow quite nicely here. Look at me, I'm flowering already. Oh, a snake. Oh, getting out of this chrysalis, what a feeling. Thank you, Stella. Aw, hmm. you're sweet. Not hungry, okay. Ooh. Now is not the best time for a hug. You are hungry. <laughs> the service on the ship is incredible. Okay, I'm going to take a short break, and then I'll come back for a little bit longer, but not too much longer. Okay. Have a good break, everyone. Hi. I'm back. The soundtrack is so good. Um, we're probably gonna go for like another half hour and then I'm gonna have to stop. Um, well, yeah. Okay, so we got those two. I need ways to make planks and bread. So I need a loom. Need more quartz. And I uh, need more thread. Uh, so first things first, we need quartz. You gotta love the sights here, the sea, the sun, the breeze on my skin. It just feels so right. I'm happy to be aboard this ship with you, my niece. I wish your Aunt Viv could see you right now, running your own ship, helping out those stranded souls. It really warms my heart. I'm glad you picked me up on that island. I'll try and make myself the least cumbersome passenger on this boat. Except for food. I'll never stop asking for delicious meals. just jumped all the way up that was wow that was amazing hmm. i guess they're sleeping huh <laughs> Oh, yeah, we can set course. This is kind of what my life I want my life to be like in real life. 
in another life, I think I was meant to be like some sort of pirate or seafarer. Oh, wait. Gotta ring the bell. Zoom out. Oh, could we hit something? Ah! Oh, let me down. Let me out. Wait. trash. <laughs> Quick, jump in the water. There's wreckage. I'm sure you'll find some helpful materials in there. I did. Now, about the garden. Oh, Stella, don't you think your boat feels a little sad? Well, it sure could use some greenery. As an added bonus, a small garden could serve as a nice classroom. I've been thinking about this teaching thing for a while now. It will be called Caring for Plants, from A to Zalia. Mm, yeah, it doesn't ring as good as once said out loud. Maybe I need to work on the name some more. Oh, it was perfect. The name was perfect. Okay, who needs we need food? Oh, my stomach is rumbling. Do you have anything to nibble on? Yes. Oh no, no no no. Stella, don't you remember? I don't eat any animal product. No breast milk nor ova. Certainly there was no they were not meant to for our consumption. And the meat. No no, okay. Sorry, I won't impose my choices on others, but I cannot eat. Fine. Um. Oh, you found my weak sweet spot, dear. I can't say no to a dessert. I didn't even realize that was dessert, but okay. Delightful sugary perfection. Thank you very much. Awesome. I love the snake hug. Don't you feel better now? There seems to be quite a few new faces aboard. I like it. Don't get me wrong. I just don't want you to forget about your old Uncle Atul. You know me, I'm Mr. Personality! I can get along with anyone, anywhere, anytime. I just don't think I'd have to make two new friends at my age. You don't have to worry. I'll be alright. Sorry I even brought it up. I'll just go stand on the edge of the boat and take in this plunder, you know? Aww. Hopefully no bugs will fly in my mouth. That's no fun. Okay. Oh my gosh, there's so much to do now. With your well, well, the snack would be great right about now. Is that shellfish? Oh no, 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 not for me. Sorry. Damn it. I like. Yeah, I know. I just. Okay. You're not gonna want that. Oh. Ooh. Ah, this is absolutely exquisite. Worthy of the best fine dining restaurants I've been to. I've been in those a lot. Thanks a lot. Phew. Thank you. Okay, I'm just gonna wait.
more quartz. You can no longer cuddle the octopus, oh no! Is it too big? Because the cat has insisted on being little spoon! Oh no! Giddy. <laughs> Gosh dang it. Cats being cute and cuddly. Is it the void cat? You have you have more than one cat yet. I'm trying to remember. Void cat is your only cat? Oh! I don't know why I thought you had- maybe I got it mixed up with someone else. Laser, we're in so many different discords together where people post their pets. <laughs> For some reason in my mind I thought maybe you had like a tabby. Oh! Oh, that's why. Tabby and Tordy are close friends cat. I see. That is where I was mistaken. Well, void cats are best cats anyway, so. He cats it a lot. Cat sitting is great. Like, yes, pay me to hang out with your cat. I'm <laughs> the win win. Angry Tabby and Chai look alike. Oh, I hope not too angry. Still, angry, angry cats are still good cats. Needs a home. Hmm. Oh no, it's hungry. Okay, hold on. Delicious, I had a hankering for this. Good. Alright. Wait, this do we want? Give our uncle a hug? Yes. Wasn't that great? Favorite niece of mine? Alright, people are happy again, except... Do I need to make another guest house? Oh, you can only build one of these. Never mind. Oh, the rainwater's plant. That's cool. Man, this journey is long. Oh, I need thread. Hmm. I've got some thread here. Yes, I want the thread. The little meows. Oh, 
What needed the thread? Oh, but we need 20 thread. Okay. Oh, that's better than nothing. We are almost to our destination. Mm. Rain really ruins a day, doesn't it? Halton Bay discovered. Do -ba -do -do. I just noticed that the loading sign is Daffodil playing with her ever playing or ever light. This is hard. There we go. Hopper. Ooh. Hey. I came here to cut down these trees, but I forgot my axe. I'm not gonna start using someone else's axe. That would be strange. I like the way my axe feels. It's so sturdy and it calms me. Oh, I miss that axe. I've been passing the time by writing letters and throwing some in the water. I've been writing poetry. It's not very good. Mm -hmm. But I'm getting better. Hopefully no one finds my terrible poetry. <laughs> you know we're gonna find that terrible poetry. Look at all these trees! Ooh, yeah. I'll be picking up some wood! Hoping to, to do some work on these later. all the trees, I guess. <laughs> Fairy. Ooh. Didn't sell that. Find his poetry. Nah. Doesn't seem to be anything else here. Mm. Why did I forget my axe? I'm lost without it. All right, I think that's all we got here. Or that that's all there is to get. No money paid for cat sitting, but she's often on my way. And you use her TV in case the raider feeds her for dinner. Well, I mean, that's the thing, is, like, even if you're not getting paid to cat sit, like, it is a treat. She does, uh, Asha when you need it. You know, that's good trade. I, yeah, to be fair, like, I, I, I don't need to be paid for cat sitting, it's a bonus. You know? <laughs> and yeah, I mean, like, I only get paid if it's not, like, Okay, we're going on to the next thing. What else do we have? 
You'll admit that TV is less critical now that you have one, but even if you're feeling mad, you can just introduce mice. Absolutely. I, I feel that. Different ceiling to look at, absolutely. Alright. Too dark to navigate. Let's sleep. Yeah, I recently I've been cat sitting for a friend of a friend a couple times. And her cats are so cute and beautiful and wonderful. <laughs> And they're just so fun to hang out with. Let's go ring the bell. And our house is just wonderful too. Yeah, like I love being able to like live in other people's houses for a short time. Or even if I'm not, like, spending the night, you know, just hanging out. Oh, not right now. Okay. Um... Where are we going? Uh. Yeah, you both are at least partly work for her home, so we'll try to spend at least an hour a day hanging around. Yeah. Yeah, it's fun. Service on the ship is incredible. She'll often do a meeting at your place. I'll usually eat lunch or dinner at hers. Perfect. I love it when it's just an easy ring. This really does feel like kind of stardew on a boat. Mm. If you can hug the people. I got something on my mind. Give me a minute. Aw. It's so great. Oh, you're hungry. 
That's what I call a perfect blend of coffee that hits the spot. Mm. Not really food, but okay. Like, wait, can I give you a present? No, I don't have. Mm. I've got some fiber I bought. I was gonna use it to weave some thread. Uh, oh, you can keep it. Yeah, um, friend is bringing Indian tonight. Oh. Oh, now I want Indian food. Ah, you're so lucky. That's gonna be awesome. I didn't realize you could sit on the couch. I love video games. Just, I can live my my perfect life in this video game. Living on a boat with a cat and all my friends. With all my animal family. Shenanigans. I haven't even realized there's a tab for shenanigans. Oh, build a garden. What do I need for a garden? Real garden. Oh, I have a bunch of stuff. I feel like the garden... Oh, these can go higher now. I feel like the garden in the field should be, you know, above. Like as tall as it could be, you know, close to the sun. Yes, perfect. What a wonderful little garden. You really outdid yourself, Bella. Well, then that makes us just about ready to start on our, the first lesson. Make sure there are some seeds in these plots. They'll be important. Now, for our first lesson, we'll start with something that I've been quite excited to share. This world has some strange rules, as you probably noticed already. Yeah. I've always been a preacher for love towards all living beings. For you, you four, you see, a garden is a vessel of our love, a mirror we hold to ourselves. This seems truer now than ever. Back on my island, when I was lonely, I sang to the flowers, and as I expected, they grew much more vigorously. Through trial and error, I've managed to write a little song. The plants seem to react particularly well to it. I want to further test that observation with you. Go inside the garden and try playing that piece to your crop. Yeah. 
We can do music. Hold you to play the guitar. Oh shoot. Uh I can't I can't see it. <laughs> I can't see it. Have you seen how the plants fade and grew as you entertained them? Wasn't that fabulous? As I it's suspected, emotions in this world manifest themselves much more vividly. Well, I'll make sure to spread the word about this fascinating discovery. And who knows? Other passengers might know how to play some music too. They might help if in a good enough mood. Speaking of which, in all the commotion of the last few days, I forgot something. Here, this is for you. The strange coin has been tickling me since I've arrived here. I'm relieved it's not one of those pollen allergies again. Yay! magical. Okay, I think it can just go on forever. Why are you doing that twice? Please. You did good! Now we've got a real boat going. You know how to take care of these new passengers now. They'll be the ones testing your patience, not me. But before all that, I have something to ask you. You might have noticed it by now, but the sleeping in a but sleeping in the guest house is not the ideal scenario for any of us. Especially since it's getting crowded in there. Look, I'm not complaining, you know. You've been terrific up to this point and it'd be terribly rude of me to blame you for anything. But I think it's time for me to have a space of my own. A nice little house, unpretentious but sophisticated, with a cozy vibe. A space in which I could read and unwind far from the turmoil of the deck. Mm -hmm. Oddly enough, I'd see something with an alpine flair. See, you and I can be filled with nostalgia sometimes. Again, I won't be pushy on this, but I'd be delighted if you could build it for me. I'll tell you something. Stella, I didn't want to disturb you with this, but for the last several weeks I've been having strange dreams. They're of a giant snake and of menacing wreath and of rotten fruit. And since joining you and your crew, well, they've been getting much clearer. I think it's the air of the sea, or maybe the mystical energies of the Everlight. Anyway, I'm now convinced my dreams have been visions. And furthermore, I think they might be coming from our mutual acquaintance. I have been looking at the map in your cabin. My eyes kept being drawn to a specific spot that I marked. I think we should visit. No point in making it wait. Oh wait, yeah, wait. Let me get this. Whee! Port, 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 port. Okay.
Ooh. Delicious. I had a hankering for this. Awesome. Um. Forge dragon. That sounds dangerous. <laughs> but I need cord. Ooh. Hmm. Oh! Deep is a resource? Oh, that's where the Evador is. Oh! Whoops. All the way over here. Okay. Um. It's gonna take a while. Okay, once we get to our destination, I think... Probably gonna end stream. But this is very- it feels very Stardew-esque in that you could just keep playing it forever and ever and ever and ever and ever, because there's always something to do. Message in a bottle. A small glint bottle.
My gosh. Dang it. Gotta pay attention. Eyes on the prize. weird. Maybe I pressed space on accident. Hey shrimp. I thought it's a boy shrimp. But now it's a bay shrimp. The background in this game is incredible. Not yet. Oh, shit. Oh, well. Need to water. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, I forgot to look at what I needed for. Oh, I can totally build that. I love it. This cabin is outstanding. It really does wonders to have a place of your own. Doesn't it remind you of my old condo on Waverly? Probably the only place where I could get some peace and quiet. Thank you, old friend. I do want to see the inside. Ooh! Very nice. It's gotta, it's gotta be time. It's gotta be time to quit. God, what a wonderful, wonderful game. I really like it so far. Very, just very nice. Just a good, a good vibe. All right. Thank y'all for hanging out. Let's see real quick. We can find someone to raid. Um, and as we do that, let's see. We've got um 
It was fun. <laughs> fun? It was fun. It was fun. Um. Oh. I thought you were making a pun. It was fun. No, big, but fundraising. Um, yeah, let me look at who I usually, like, who I... <laughs> I can't believe. Um. I don't know. I kind of, I want to be able to, um, raid someone who is, like, doing a similar vibe. But... Hmm. Everyone's playing like dark games or like intense games right now. We could do the Monterey Bay Aquarium. <laughs> you know, just chill aquarium vibes. Does that feel good? <laughs> I think that's what I want to do. Just just from on top of the ocean to inside of the ocean. How does that sound? Uh, let me see. There it looks like they're doing Oh, it's the jelly cam. Yeah, we're gonna okay. That's what we're gonna do is Monterey Bay Aquarium's jellyfish cam is very it's very relaxing. Um, just uh, then, if you're not in the Discord, that Dream Elements is freaking broken. <laughs> well, I I need to figure that out. Um, we have a Discord. You're gonna have to find it on your own, I guess, if you're not in there yet. Um. <laughs> Anyway, y'all, I hope you all have a great rest of your day. I hope it's relaxing. I hope you all get rest and all of that. I hope you enjoy the jellyfish cam. And I will see you on Friday. Yeah, probably more Spirit Bearer, maybe Elden Ring. We'll see how I feel. Oh, bye-bye. <laughs> have a good one, everyone. And enjoy the Monterey Bay Aquarium. <laughs>